Hi, my name is Ivy Starnes. I'm a gated horse trainer in Fort Worth, Texas. This is head down video number five. If you haven't seen one through four, please go back and watch them. They are free and a lot of buildup happens before we even get to this video. So it's super important that you take a look, please. Otherwise, it won't make sense and you may have a lot of questions and I'm going to be referring people to those videos. These videos are free, so please take a look. This video talks a lot about working on head down with a faster horse and she had learned a little bit that when she feels contact to throw her head down. <clears throat> so we were working on that a little bit, looking for softness. This video is about 20 minutes long. So in this video, this mare, uh, I put her in a snaffle. Uh, we are going to switch to the McGregor releasing bit shortly, but I'm going to be asking her to soften. Now, the good news is she already knows this a little bit, but you're going to see that when I speed her up, she doesn't soften as well. So like her head is not high, so it's a little bit different, but sometimes when I put pressure on the rein, see how she put her head down? That's not what I really want. I, I'll praise her for that, but this mare had been known for kind of pulling the reins out of your hand when I, I want her to put her head down, but only after she softens. So light contact, I don't want her to throw that head down. I'm going to hold pressure if she tries to put her head, throw it down. I don't think she does too many times, but you can see when I ask her to speed up, she's a little pacey. She's a lot pacey and she has her head up higher and her nose out. Now we don't mind the nose out, but she's very pacey. And when I put contact on the reins, she doesn't soften. So Again, I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record because I'm going to ride around in a circle and then I'm going to put light contact on the reins, asking her to soften her nose, give me vertical flexion, and then I will immediately release the reins. And I keep her going and it's nice and slow. We're not fighting that at all. But you can see how she doesn't want to give. And that's super important to, to work on this is to have that little bit of contact, keep the speed going, not too fast. So there she tried to speed up, so I pulled a little bit harder. I wasn't asking her to soften, I was just controlling the speed. The circle's a little bigger, but I'm still on a circle. I'm not using the whole arena, and I'm holding that light contact. And a little more pressure on my inside rein so we can circle. I have contact on the outside rein, so you have pressure on both reins. Asking her to soften. And I make the circle a little smaller because sometimes smaller can help. And because it's taking so long for her to soften, um, if there's a big soften, I immediately stop and praise. Asking her, she's still pacey, still has that head up, still just pushing against the bit. She's basically not been educated what to do when she feels contact. I want you to educate your horse that when they feel the light contact, that they immediately soften right there. Look at that. Her gait changed, her whole body. It just looked so, so beautiful. Everything about that changed and it got better. And what did I do? I immediately stop and praise. Let her rest, let her think about it. Especially when it takes longer. Um, the longer, if you have to ride around like that and the mare or your horse finally gets it, you're definitely gonna stop and praise for a while. Definitely don't make it a 10 second stop. Make it one to two minutes and count it off or put it on your phone if you don't feel like you'll stay that long. <clears throat> it's super important that we educate all of our horses to be able to do this, to have that softness training. And again, I'm using a snaffle. My preference would be to always use a snaffle, <clears throat> except, except I might use the McGregor releasing bit uh, for trail rides for safety if I was worried about that and also for some brief training. So I had a Tennessee walking mare trained in a snaffle, very soft, but she wanted to put her head up and for her to gait, she needed to put it down. So what I ended up doing is she was trained on head down, no problem in the pasture with a snaffle. But as soon as we went on the road, it was very hard to get her to keep her head down. I had to constantly ask her. So I rode her for a week in the McGregor releasing bit and because I could kind of make her put her head down. I ask her for head down and then release and ask for head down and release. And after about a week, she really was doing head down and gating nicely. And then I put her back in the snaffle and finished her training in the snaffle. So there are times to use it uh, for training purposes, especially if the horse needs work on head down. But that softness training should always be done in a snaffle. 
and I'm showing you this long rest because of how long it took her to get there. I need you guys to see how long I let her rest. So at the walk right there, she softened and I released and look on the release, she dropped her head. I don't want her to, when I take up contact, like there, I took up contact and she tried to pull her head down. She tried several times. The goal is not to have the horse put the head down while you have contact because that does result in the horse pulling the reins out of your hand. What we want is for her to soften. I'm going to release and on the release, she's going to, uh, you know, drop the head, but not pulling the reins out of my hand. So right there, she's pulling down on the reins. And so I'm holding tight. I don't release because I don't want her to pull the reins down. I want her to soften and then I will release. And when she feels loose reins, then she can put her head down. But I'm not letting her pull the reins out of my hand. And it, it is definitely something that people get confused. They think I'm saying hold contact until the horse drops the head. And sometimes it does result in a horse just like this, where they throw their head down. So I'm asking her to soften, not stop, and not pull the reins down. Because again, she's trying. So she's still trying to pull the reins down. So we're kind of retraining her. So she learned that when there's contact, I put my head way down, I pull on it, and then I'll get rewarded. And that's not what we want. We want her to soften. Yes, that's better. But I was holding the contact. And then on the release, she's welcome to drop her head. So speed her up and ask her to... So I'm, I'm asking her to continue. She's going slowly. I'm holding contact. Uh, and it looks like where at the walk, she had learned to throw her head down. At the faster speed, she would learned to just ignore the rider. Because there she softened a little, tiny, tiny bit. There she softened and I released and I'm stop and praise because she softened there. And so this is super common that horses will, at the faster speed, they don't give their nose. They put their head up. They look exactly like this horse. They may be higher headed, they may be lower, but they put their nose out, they ignore the rider and they're not soft. That's so common and you're going to have to make yourself do it because it's not comfortable to ride the pace and keep the horse going, not walking, going. And then also it's, it's definitely hard for them to maintain that slow speed. As you saw in, in video three, we had a horse that was faster and needed to work on. So this is day two or three. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, we switched, I think, to the McGregor releasing bit. This is the outside arena. It's actually a ways from the indoor, and she's often not very good in here because she's a little barn and buddy sour. So we're going to see that as she tends to go faster in here. Uh, and so she's still in the snaffle, actually. She's in the snaffle. She tends to not like the arena, according to the person who rides her, and she tends to be a little bit faster. So we're riding in a snaffle still, and we're going to be working on the softness and watch for her to throw her head down when she feels contact. And I'm not going to release because it isn't about a horse just dropping their head. So there she's kind of pulling on the reins a little because she's trying to drop her head. Normally I don't pull back on a horse, but I want her to not try to throw her head down because she learned that bad habit. And it's common because people watch my videos and they think I say, hold contact till they drop their head. And then you have a horse that will throw their head down. What I want her to do is soften. And so when you watch these videos, I want you to go away saying, I'm like, I'm going to train my horse to soften to the reins. And then I'm going to do a big release. And that's when my horse will drop their head. Now there she softened and I released the reins and she put her head down. I still want her to put her head down, but only when I release the reins after she has softened. And that's very important. And then since she did put her head down, I do want to reward that. So I will stop and praise, but I'm not going to stop and praise for her pulling the reins out of my hand. And it, like I said, it's a common misconception. And that's one of the reasons why I'm using this horse because she likes 
to, again, pull the reins out of your hand because she's putting her head down because she's been trained to do this. She's not being bad. She's doing what she was trained. They held contact till she put her head down and then they dropped. Rather than holding contact till she softens her nose, gives to pressure, and then we release. So right there was better, but she's trying to pull her head down. And so I pull a little harder and that's why she tries to stop. And I just use my legs and my voice to say, keep going, like a little clock or a little walk on and a little squeeze my leg to say, don't stop. And yeah, she's swishing her tail because she's not sure what I'm asking. There she gave and I just stop her. And it's basically just retraining. And you're going to see in just a little bit on day three how much better she is, how much more gating, how softer she is. This often takes two or three sessions. But again, it doesn't need to be repeated very often. Once the horse learns it, it's amazing how much they retain. So light contact there but she's pulling a little bit more normally i would release for any give but if i feel like she's trying to like right there she's trying to pull down what i'm doing is holding and not letting her pull the reins through my hand and not letting her putting her head down that's what she's trying to do i'm not pulling on her she's trying to put her head down and pull the reins out of my hand and i want her to right again instead soften that's why she's a really good example for this because she tends to pull it you know, out of your hand. Light con, there you go. She pulled it down a little bit and I don't want that. So we're kind of correcting the wrong behavior and it takes longer. That was a little bit better, a little nicer. Look, and when her head was down, she was gating and then she put her head up because as soon as we speed up, of course, she doesn't give. There, she put her head down. That was much better. Normally, she just wants to Stick your note there. Good. See me release when she softened? Nice. Nice. And I would probably, I probably should stop and praise. My guess is I will stop and praise soon. Um, and she moves much better when her head stays down. But she has a hard time keeping it down. Like you see her head go down and it's a couple nice steps of gait and then her head comes up and she gets pacey because she doesn't have the muscle memory of the gait. She has the muscle memory of having her head up and the pace. And so we're trying to retrain her to to retrain her muscles and her mind. Retrain her mind that we don't want that normally high-headed stuff and then retrain her muscles so that the gait feels easy for her. Right now it's harder, it's easier for her to pace. And the stop and praise was to tell her she did a good job. And again, this is all in a snaffle all on a circle. If you look, this is why I don't need a big arena for clinics is because I use such a small area to work on the gate and work on head down. And again, at most clinics, the thing I work most on is head down because head down facilitates gait because head down helps the horse to relax in many different cases. And it helps the horse to use their back, use their hind end and totally change how they move. Sometimes all we have to do is head down enough and the horse will start gating. So I'm probably going to speed her up here and ask her to soften at a faster speed. If it's just at the walk, let's see. Ask her to soften. She was much better about softening there. And then she dropped her head, but she was kind of pulling on the reins there. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not asking you to pull the reins down. So there she's trying to pull down. No, no, no. And she likes to veer toward the gate. Hence why I use a, a, quite a bit of strong contact on the inside rein there. Because again, we said she's a little bit barn sour. So she knows where the gate is and she pulls toward it more. And I'm just saying, no, you can't go that way. You have to keep going out of circle. There, her head is going up, so I'm going to ask her to drop, and so, no, not drop her head, I'm going to ask her to soften. Her first instinct when she felt the reins was to put her head down, and I want her to, again, instead, tuck her nose toward her chest really softly. That's a nice head down with softness. And then she brought her head back up as soon as I asked, which is important, because before she would just throw her head down. Nice, that was really nice. We're working on a turn there, and she dropped her head when I softened and released. That's good. So now we speed her up and we see that pace come back. <laughs> Especially when her head goes up, she speeds up, which she speeds up heading toward the gate. And that's when her, she puts her head up as a general rule. 
Um, and so we're there, softness is good, but the head goes up and the speed comes up because she heads toward the gate. Very common. Uh, and I mostly ignore it. I just continue asking for that softness. I don't let her speed up. That was nice. And then she tried to throw her head down. And she's the only one so far of the horses we've seen that really learned to throw their head down. So I wasn't, when I released with the other horses, I just released and they, they either put their head down or they didn't. She's a little bit different because sometimes I have to hold the contact and not let her throw her head down. So stop and praise for her doing well. Again, we know that we're fighting not only, you know, <clears throat> pulling the head down and learning new things like softening, but we're also fighting that she wants to go toward the gate. And there's nothing you can do about it. You just train through it. And I mostly ignore it. Um, what I would do is probably really make being in the arena a really good experience, feed her lots of treats down here so she loves it, um, and continue doing the training and ignoring her pulling toward the gate. Except I'm not really ignoring her, I'm correcting it before it's a problem. I'm keeping her on a small circle so that she doesn't like get up ahead of steam and decide to go to the gate. All right, let's see, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Here we go, so I did stop and praise. She's dropping her head a lot better and not pulling the reins out of my hand, which is why I stopped and praised. So this is, I believe, day three. So we have her in the McGregor releasing bit. The horses all tended to have a little more energy on this day and much nicer gait, but only when she keeps her head down. If she tries to throw it down, I will let her see how her head goes up there. So I'm, I'm holding contact when she puts her head up, asking her to soften and then I'll release. But again, I'm not gonna let her pull the reins down and out of my hand. There, she softened. And then her head came right back up. So what it did is it just meant that she stayed in the pace. So like that's a pretty nice gate right there. That's really nice. So I stop and praise for that. Very, very nice. And it's again important to get those few steps of gate, stop and praise. And again, as many of you know, one of the hardest things is to know when they're in gate. And so riding on the road where you can hear that pucka pucka, if you can't feel it, is really nice. Here I'm demonstrating you can teach a horse to soften when they're standing still, but it's super important to train it not only at the walk, but at the faster speed. Hopefully these videos clear up some of that confusion. Many people will train it at the walk, but they neglect to do it at the faster speed, which means that if they come to a, that when the horse paces, they don't have a way to fix it. And when they come to clinics or training, if they haven't done head down, I spend the good part of the first session working on head down because there's a nice little gate, beautiful. But look how low the head was. There's the head down. Look how low she has to put it. And then she throws it up because again, the muscle memory is for that higher head. And to put the head down requires more balance. That's beautiful, beautiful gate and stop and praise. It's just such such a lovely gait that we see from that mare. Um, but to do that and to get that, we had to do a lot of head down work and a lot of softness training. Head down is a result of softness. You don't train just for head down. You train for softness and the horse should drop the head on the release. Hopefully that made sense to you and gave you a good picture of what a horse that is pulling looks like and why we don't want this. This is video five. If you haven't seen one through four, please go watch that. They're free. You got this.